Okay. Quick note. I made two videos known as a duct tape. Don't do a duct tape challenge. Simply put, my wrists are killing me, and duct tape is some strong shit. Uh, you guys can watch the videos. I would prefer that you just watch them, but please don't start this as a fucking trend because duct tape is some serious shit. And pulling the hair off my arms, I can't really zoom in, but if you can see the slight bruising and shit, it's probably not a good idea to start a duct tape challenge. So please, before any of you people go out here thinking that I'm starting a duct tape challenge, I did that to make sure that you don't use duct tape as a challenge. I watch a lot of the programs on ID, and I watch a lot of the hostages be taken, and they use duct tape. And I couldn't figure out, I'm like, I've been watching things for like a couple of days. I'm like, why in the hell don't they just break the fucking duct tape? Well, if you watch my other videos, you'll understand why I say that shit hurts. And two... The right kind of duct tape is probably some very strong shit. And my duct tape, I don't know how old this duct tape is, but it has to be fairly old for me to be able to break it like that. And this is like a pretty roughed up looking roll of duct tape. But I would tell you this, if you have to be tied up with duct tape, I feel a great deal of hurt for you while you're struggling. And I only wrapped it once, both times. I've only wrapped it once. So just imagine when somebody duct tapes you and they wrap that shit like three or four times. I had a problem with once. It took me a minute and I was strong enough to break it. But most people aren't physically strong. And I also have a tiny bit of military training, but they don't teach you how to break out of duct tape. But I'm also a martial artist, which also does not teach you how to break out of duct tape. But at the same time, most people don't come around kidnapping people who know martial arts. And most people don't really know who they kidnap until it's too late. But anybody can catch you sleeping. But for duct tape, I will tell you, this would not be a great challenge to ever start. So please, if you're watching this, don't go ballistic and be trying a duct tape challenge. Because one wrap alone peeled off like a fourth of the hair on my wrist. And they hurt like shit. And without tools, you know, or at least having somebody buy, they can cut you free. I don't recommend a duct tape challenge. I really don't recommend it. And you guys should not do any kind of duct tape challenges whatsoever. This shit will probably get you killed. Alright? I'm James Wimp Jr. Come back with number two. Please, don't start doing new challenges like the duct tape challenge. Y'all seen me do the blindfold challenge. I had a hip replacement. So that's why there's so many copies of that. Because I screwed up so many times with the chain. I'm pretty good with nunchucks. So that's like self-explanatory. I can fight with nunchucks blindfolded anyway. But I also was trained in blindfolded martial arts when I was a very much younger man in the ages of my 20s. So, um, the best I can tell you is no duct tape. And if you're going to do blindfold challenges, make sure it's something that you can do second naturally. Like, kung fu for me is second nature. So, I really can't fuck myself up. I can only fuck up everybody around me. But as for people like duct tape and stuff like that, 86, that shit. I'm James Wimshin. Thank you for watching.